Welcome! In this video I'm going to be taking a look at this Kudos LED Vandy light. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reading it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost anything extra. So let's get this open. So here we have the instructions. So you want to read through these. And since this is involving electricity, if you don't know how to do electrical work safely, seek out some help. Because I'll be talking about some things, but I'm not going to go over every single safety aspect of this. So this does have a color temperature switch. So it has three levels. It has 3000K, 4000K, and 5000K. So that will determine how warm or cool the light is. This has dual lenses. This is rated at 14 watts and 1100 lumens. So it has some wire nuts. So here's the main fixture, and these are the lenses. So you want to be careful picking these up because there are two lenses, and they are glass. Let's get this out of the way. So this has a chrome finish. So they do have some other finishes on Amazon. So on the side here we have the selector for color temperature. On the back we have a mounting plate, and we have the LED controller. And here you can see the LEDs. So we have 12 LEDs, there are three of these, so there would be 36 LEDs. Now this will switch some on and off depending on what color temperature you're using. Let's look at the lenses. So here we have the inner lens, it's frosted. And this is the outer lens. So that will fit on like so, and this will screw into the middle. So it's kind of a tight fit, but I got it in there. There you can see. So that's very sturdy on there once you get it tightened down. So I'm not going to put all these in it until I install it, so I'll unscrew this for now. So to install this, you'll unscrew this mounting plate. It has a screw on the top and the bottom. And you'll mount this on your box. You want to make sure these two tabs are in the vertical position. And then you can wire up power to this. So you have hot, common, and ground. So I'm going to test this on my bench. I don't recommend you do this because it can be dangerous. I'm just using these WAGO connectors here and I have a cord to plug into. So now I'm going to plug this in. I'm going to turn my power strip off first. I'll plug this in and I'll turn this on. So now the light is on. Let me look here. So we're currently drawing 14.9 watts. That's at the 400K temperature. Let me turn it down to 3000. So at 3000K, we're drawing 15.7 watts. Let's pull it up. At 5000K, we're drawing 15.5 watts. So I'm probably going to have it on the 3 or 4000K. So that'll be the warmer light or the whiter light. And as I was talking about before, it does turn on different LEDs for each mode. So you have warm LEDs, you have the cool LEDs, and then when you have the middle mode, it has all of the LEDs on. So I'll unhook this now. So I wanted to plug that in so I could hook it into my power meter and see how much energy it's taking. So I'm going to head up to my bathroom and I'll get this installed. Now I probably won't show every step, but I'll give you a good idea of what it takes to do this. Okay, so here I have the electrical box in my bathroom. I'm going to install the plate here so I'll run it over the wires and I do have the power off. And I'm going to find holes that line up. So the holes on the right and the left line up. So I'll put screws in there. So I have the screws in. Before I tighten them all the way down, I'm going to put a level on here and I'll make sure this is plumb and then I'll tighten it down. Okay, so I have the plate installed and it came with some wire nuts, but since I have the WAGO connectors, I'm just going to use those. So I'll put the light up here, I'll connect up the wiring and I'll put these two screws in. Okay, so now I have it installed and before I put the lenses on, I want to test the light. Okay, so that's working. So now I can put the lenses on. So here I have one lens on and you can see that there. Okay, so now I have the fixture installed with all three lenses, and we're on the 4000K mode. Let me try switching this. So this is the 5000K mode. And this is the 3000K mode. So I'll switch it to the middle 3000K. I like that the best. So I really like the look of this. It seems to be kind of a balance of modern and classic. It's nice having the diffusers in here, because it's spraying the light all around the bathroom and it gives it a really clean look. So that's the Kudos LED bathroom vanity light. That's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.